Okay. So um, there's, there's two differences perhaps here to the, the majority of the questions we did this morning. Uh, you're not given the um, substitution to use, so um, you know that's that's one thing. Um, but more importantly, we've got limits. We've got limits, and actually, limits make it a little bit easier. So, Harrison, would you like to propose a, a, a sensible substitution we can use in this um, in this first example? That sounds like an excellent substitution to use. So, so over to my back of the envelope, my little notepad. U equals x plus one. I need to rearrange that to say x equals. I need to differentiate it to get du by dx so I can replace the dx as well. I now need to do one more thing. The two limits of integration, 2 and 0, are x values. But we're going to differentiate, sorry, we're going to integrate this in terms of u. So I need to change those x values into u values. So go on, see if you can see if you can complete the picture with that one there. Okay, so uh, I'm going to replace x with u plus 1. x plus 1 cubed is u cubed. du and dx are, in this question, interchangeable. And here's the new thing. 0 and 2 have become 1 and 3, because u is equal to x plus 1. And there's a really key point here, which obviously doesn't apply in this situation, but it could apply in some trig examples. The order of these numbers, what have I done, what have I done? Is it not u minus one? Oh, thank you. Biscuits arriving tonight, remind me tomorrow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, the order of these numbers, needs to stay here, even if you end up here with a number down here that's bigger than a number down there. Which could happen, say for example, if you <coughs> if your substitution was u equals the cos of x, and your two values were um, 0 and uh, pi, because cos of pi is 0 and cos of 0 is 1. So if for whatever reason, when you work out your u values, this is always smaller than this. If, if the order is reversed, you keep that order. So the one would still go at the bottom and the zero would still go at the top. That's really important. Um, it may crop up, it may not crop up today. I'll make I'll try and find one that does. Anyway, the good news now is because now everything is in the world of u, I don't need to substitute back at the end. So I've done this little extra step here that it's removed the whole replacing u with x at the end. So now I'm just going to, that's what well multiply it out before I integrate. Then I'm going to integrate. Then I'm going to substitute in my values. 3, u, x, u is 3, and u is 1, and get the answer. Then you might want to turn your attention to the second one. Go on, have a go. So we end up with u to the 5 over 5 minus u to the 4 over 4 plus c. Substitute our values in and we cheated. No, hang on, I'm looking at completely the wrong example there. There we go. So you end up with, with that. So now we're trying this one here using the substitution u is 1 plus sine x. Initially, it looks like the cos x is going to be a problem, but of course that's only a problem until we differentiate our u equals expression. Make sure your calculator is in radians before you do any calculations.
sinus is. So if we've used u is 1 plus sine x, the square root of that will just be u to the half, and we can integrate u to the half, increase the power divided by the new power. So we, we end up, don't we, again, with this sort of hybrid. That's in use, that's in use, that's in use, this is still an x's, but because the good news is, those cancel out. So we end up with u to the half, and we can integrate u to the half, increase the power by 1, divide by the new power. So you, you end up with something which, if you tried to do it as a decimal, would be horrible. It's 2 thirds of 2 to the power of 3 over 2, minus just 2 thirds. 2 to the power of 3 over 2, you don't have to do this, but 2 to the power of 3 over 2 is the square root of 2 cubed. And that's where the 2 root 2 in that answer comes from. Can we look at one where that thing about the numbers flipping around occurs? And that's question 2C. So if we're on page 304, um, page 2C. So if I can ask you to have a go at uh, that one first, but before I leave you be with it, let's just look at what happens with the, uh, the values. Yes. Uh, you use that formula. So you do 1 plus the sine of the x value. So the sine of 0 is 0. So 1 plus sine 0 is 1. Sine of 90, sine of 5 over 2 is 1. So that's 1. Yeah. So we're doing C. We're doing 2C. So here, u is equal to cos x. So the cos of 0 is 1. And the cos of pi over 2, 90, is 0. So we get this really odd looking thing where normally we're going from a small number to a big number. 
we keep the order the same. So that's got to be 1 and that's got to be 0. And when we come to substitute our values in, we do it in that wrong order. So we do u is 0 first, take away u is 1. So even though those two numbers are the wrong way round, we keep them in the order they, sh they were according to the x value. So the smaller x value became 1 as a u value, so that still goes at the bottom. And the larger x value becomes 0, so that's going to go at the top. So it's always that number we substitute in first, take away that number. It looks counterintuitive, but it's the way it has to be. So once you've done 2c, perhaps go back and do a and b. Um, and that will probably fill the rest of our time. So again, we've got one of these hybrid substitutions. So I leave the sine x, because when I replace dx, it's minus du over sine x. So I choose to bring the minus outside the integration. And I've got du over sine x, which cancels out. This I can integrate as a bracket. Remember, I can only do that for ax plus b in the bracket. Nothing more complicated. Increase the power by 1, divide by the new power, and divide by what you get when you differentiate the bracket. It gives me 9 over 2, which is the same as multiplying by 2 over 9. Mustn't forget the minus. So when u is 0, this is 1. Square root of 1 is 1, cubed is 1, so you get 2 times 1 over 9, minus 2 9, it's not forgetting the minus. And when uh, u is 1, that's 4, square root of 4 is 2, cubed is 8, 2 times 8 is 16 over 9, don't forget the minus, minus 16 over 9. So you end up with minus 2 9, plus 16 9, which is 14 9, bish bash bosh.